In tonight's Health Watch, good news for the 2 million Americans who've lost a limb, many of whom suffer terrible nerve pain. And it's a new type of surgery that brings them relief. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez joins us now. And Dr. Max, the so rerouting those severed nerves really then can help? That's right, it can. And this could actually be a big deal for the many wounded warriors, soldiers mm -hmm. who've lost limbs in the Middle East wars. Now, the problem comes from the nerves that used to go to an amputated limb. The nerve stumps are still there, sending signals to the brain, which are often misinterpreted as unrelenting pain. After doctors discovered dangerous blood clots, Robert Haas had emergency surgery to amputate his left leg. It saved his life, but left him with excruciating pain that kept him off his feet. Drugs can only mask the pain. They, they don't they don't cure, cure the pain. Robert's pain was caused by neuromas, disorganized bundles of nerve endings that form after amputation surgery. It's a common problem, as is phantom limb pain, which occurs when severed nerves send signals from an area that's no longer there, affecting up to 75% of amputees. If you cut a live wire, you got electrical shocks kind of going through. So they'll say, I'm having really shock type pain or burning pain. So researchers at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center began studying something called targeted muscle reinnervation, or TMR. Originally developed to help activate bioprosthetic limbs, they noticed amputees who had TMR surgery also reported a significant reduction in both neuroma and phantom limb pain. It's not just the movement or the sensation, it could be the pain that we're actually impacting as well, which could be just as beneficial. The procedure connects amputated nerves to a nearby muscle group, creating new connections and helping make sense of those previously disconnected nerve signals. Tricking the brain into saying the amputated foot is still there because the nerve that was going to the foot now has something to do again. When TMR was performed at the time of amputation, researchers found that only 13% of patients reported pain six months later. But TMR can also be performed on patients like Robert, who have waited years for relief. When I woke up, the pain was gone. Now, experts say they hope TMR surgery at the time of amputation will become standard practice, which could make a huge difference for the thousands of wounded warriors who've lost limbs, as well as people who've lost limbs to diabetes, clogged arteries, and a whole bunch of other diseases. So there's a lot of people that can end up being saved and helped by this. Especially now, because so many of these young men and women survived these injuries, which oh, they absolutely. couldn't survive before, correct? Exactly. Any exactly. relief is welcomed. Unbelievable. Okay.